everyone, this is Gail Vihar from Pretty Presets, and today I wanted to show you a little bit about layering presets, specifically relating to the new Luminous set that we just released, layering with presets from other sets. So I'm going to start with this image here, and I am going to choose a preset from our Color Lux set. Okay, I don't. I know a lot of you like this one, the Regia. So I'm going to click on that and it's eventually going to show there. Okay. Um, this is kind of a cool matte look. And I'm going to layer it with one of our luminous set or one of our luminous presets that tend to have this nice warm tone because I think it needs a little bit more warmth. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to choose the rainbow, horizontal bokeh rainbow. Now if you look here this gives it kind of a tiny bit of warmness and also a really cool look with this colorful bokeh and I've seen a lot of this around the board um, lately. Now if you'll notice what I just did there was one of these bokeh circles was a little bit over her hair and kind of discoloring her hair pink. So I made sure that I had the radial filter selected and I came over here and clicked on this pin that's the bokeh circle that's affecting her hair and I just moved it slightly up. So I've customized it a little bit so that it's not hitting an area that I don't want it to or, I, or an area that might be distracting. So anyway, really fun edit with those colorful bokeh circles. Now I'm going to do another one. Let's come over here to um, this photo. Okay, This photo already has a little bit of flare um, going on up here. So we're just going to accentuate that a little bit. I'm going to go back up to that same collection, the Color Lux, and this time I'm going to choose the all-in-one buttercup. This is a favorite preset. I see a lot of people using this one. I really like this one as well. That brightens it up really nice and gives a nice look. Now we're gonna, because that flare is up at the top, I want to just accentuate that a little bit more. So we're gonna come down here and find the horizontal, flare horizontal sun rays top. Okay, I'm gonna click on that. And just like that, we've added all the sun rays up there. And I still got the radial filter selected, so you're seeing all of my pins are up there. The one thing I think that happens is that she gets a tiny bit washed out from that flare coming in from the top. So what I'm going to do is come back over here to the basic panel and just decrease my exposure just a little bit. And that preset that I added at first, the Buttercup preset, increased my exposure a little bit. I'm just going to bring it down even a little bit past zero. And I really like that effect that it gives. It accentuates that flare that was already happening at the top and brings in the nice warmth from that Buttercup preset. So you can see how I'm layering by just clicking on one preset then clicking on another and then making a couple of adjustments based on what I think needs to be adjusted in the image. So let's do one more here. I'm going to come over and click on this girl. This is a really cute image of this little girl. Um, this For this one I'm going to choose my Clean and Creative set. So I'm going to come here and edit it kind of like I normally would. I'm going to click on a quick clean. I'm going to click on Center Light. I'm going to come down here and choose the Hazy Matte preset. I like that one a lot. Then I'm going to go back down to my, my Luminous collection and I'm going to find this Flare Horizontal Orchid and I'm going to click on that. Now I really, I really like the addition of this. I think it gives kind of a nice color. One thing I do want to change a little bit, this pin right here, I want to move that just a little bit to the left. So it's affecting a little bit more over here where the sun is just naturally kind of coming 
in behind her hair. And then I'm going to be done with that. Click off of the pin there. And that's my finished image. I've layered presets from other collections with presets from the Luminous collection. Now you want to be a little bit careful. There are some presets that you can't layer together. So let's, for instance, I cannot layer, let me pick, choose a new image here. I can't layer, um, let's find that sun rays top and I'm going to click on the radio filter so you can kind of see where the pins are. I can't layer that with a bokeh, okay, because they're both radial filters, so they're going to cancel each other out. So if I click on this creamy, you see how it took away all of the pins that were up here that were giving me that sun ray effect, and now it's replaced them with all of the pins that are giving me the, the bokeh effect. So you can't layer those together. But you can layer, I could layer, for instance, this bokeh one with a, let's find one of my favorite ones here, with either the golden glow or golden hour, because I know that those are done with, um, with graduated filters. So if I click on that golden glow and then come over here to my graduated filter and look right here in the middle, I have this nice um, graduated filter that's applying to my image. Now I'm going to come over here, I'm going to click on Select Overlay. And if I wanted to, in Lightroom 6, you see how I have my graduated filter selected. Over here on the top right of this tool, I now have a brush. And I can click on the Erase. I've got my flow set about 50%. I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to erase it a little bit off of their faces if it was being a little bit too much. And you can see how that green from my overlay is disappearing off of their faces a little bit. So if I felt like it was a little bit too much or something in any area of my photo, I can erase it off. So now the green, you can see the green mask here is still on my photo, but I've erased a little bit off of their faces, which is super nice. Anyway, I hope this helps. We've had so many questions in the group about layering these presets. I hope this helps you see how you can layer the presets from the Luminous collection with other presets that you probably already have on your computers. Have a wonderful day.